Cobbiz. Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Cobbiz. Cobbiz is the platform where you get to know about the new startup ideas and tips to start your business. Today with this video, we will tell you about the electronic industry in India. Before beginning anything, it is always a good idea to consider both opportunities and problems. India's manufacturing industry is a study in contrast itself. We have a population of 1.3 billion people and our technological talent is well known around the world. In India, 70% of the top 50 most innovative global companies have a research and development center. Brands like Samsung, Apple and so many are investing in India. If such huge names of the industry are moving or shifting to Indian markets, there must be a solid reason. To understand this better, you should understand the overview of the market. In recent years, India has seen a significant increase in demand for electronic products, owing primarily to India's position as the world's second largest mobile phone manufacturer and a surge in the internet penetration. The government of India prioritizes electronics hardware manufacturing because it is a critical pillar of the Make in India, Digital India and Startup India programs. The electronic system design and manufacturing ESDM sector plays a vital role in the government's goal of generating 1 trillion US dollar economy value from the digital economy by 2025. With the various government initiatives aiming to boost domestic manufacturing, India has already started witnessing initial movement with the increased production and assembly activities across products such as mobile phones and other consumer electronics. This was the background there. Main thing from which all of us are influenced is the market size of the industry. The Indian electronic manufacturing industry is projected to reach 50, 520 billion US dollar by 2025. The demand for electronics product is expected to rise 400 billion US dollar by 2025 from US dollar 33 billion in financial year 20. Electronic market has witnessed a growth in demand with market size increasing from US dollar 145 billion in financial year 16 to US dollar 215 billion in financial year 19. The market witnessed a growth of 14% CAGR from 2016 to 19. Electronic system market is expected to witness 2.3x demand of its current size in financial year 2022 to reach 160 billion US dollar by 2025. In India, smartphone shipments from India crossed 168 million units in 2021 and in 2022, smartphone shipments from India are expected to reach 190 million. 5G device shipments are expected to increase by 129% year over year from 28 million in 2021 to about 64 million in 2022. Electronics design segment growing at 20.1% was 22 of the ESDM market size in financial year 20. It is anticipated to be 27% of the ESDM market size in financial year 25. All of this is not possible without government support. But before that, let me tell you about some motivating facts or I should say the investments made by biggies of the industry in this sector. FDI inflows in the electronics and electrical equipment sector reached 14.28 billion US dollar between April 2000 to March 2022. In financial year 2021 to 2022, imports of electronic goods stood at 73.3 US billion dollars, whereas export stood at 15.67 billion US dollars. In March 2022, Reliance announced that it would invest 220 million US dollars in a joint venture with Sanmina Corp, a US listed company for making electronic products in the Asian countries. According to sources, Apple in 2021 manufactured 70% of the mobile phones sold in India, a sharp increase from 30% recorded two years ago. This is a significant push towards Make in India initiative following the government's production linked incentive that is PLI plan which began in financial year 21. Intel has also invested over 7 billion US dollar in design and R&D facilities in the country to date. The Tata Group announced plans to enter the semiconductor manufacturing business as of August 2021, seeking a proportion of 1 trillion US dollar high-tech electronics manufacturing sector. On February 16, 2021, Amazon announced that it will commence manufacturing of electronic products from India with cloud network technology, a subsidiary of Foxconn in Chennai later in the year, the device. Manufacturing program will be able to produce Fire TV stick device in large quantities every year, catering to demands of the customers in India. We need to start indigenizing fast to achieve Atmanirbhar Bharat in electronics. India has a target of $400 billion electronic production by 2025 as per the National Policy on Electronics 
2019. For the growth of sustainable economics, we need to gradually move from just manufacturing electronic goods for global brands to creating Indian design products and Indian brands. Let's have a look at a few initiatives taken by the Government of India. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has announced Scheme for Promotion of Semiconductor Ecosystem in India with a massive outlay of 76,000 crore rupees in 2022. As per Union Budget 2022-23, to the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has been allocated 14,300 crore that is 1.85 US billion dollars. In the allocated budget, revenue expenditure allocation is 13,911 crore and capital expenditure allocation is 388 crores and there are so many like this to help everyone whether you want to start on a small scale or big scale. MSMEs thus have a huge opportunity to create both innovative products with repair upgrade feature and businesses that can handle repair upgrade in an organized manner. Such products designed and manufactured in India that can be repaired and brought into products circularity through refurbishment will benefit everyone, saving energy, conserving resources, reducing e-waste and uplifting societies. It is a critical to become a $5 trillion economy and global economic powerhouse by 2025. To start any business in India, you would require a few mandatory licenses and registrations to do your business legally. But getting those licenses is tough and tedious task. So don't worry, you can just get them from a single phone call. For this, you just have to pick up your phones and you will be connected to one of our experts. The rest will be taken care by our team. So this was all about the topic and for more such content, keep watching our channel. Till then, goodbye. This is Yash Saxena signing off.